It's half past 12, half past 12 on Friday. St Mary's School is down there, look that's it there. And uh, I've just walked up where them trees are, up that path. And they're going to get the car, it's had its MOT today. So it's going to go and collect it. This is the nurseries here where uh, they have a wide range of plants actually. And um, it's not like a sort of garden centre type thing at fair. It's just sort of quietly done as a nurseries. You can go in there and buy a wide range of plants, soil and compost and all that stuff. So they don't make a big scene like some of the garden centres do. It's not, it doesn't have all the furniture and all that like some of them do. It's just purely is plants, proper garden centre, proper, garden, proper nurseries. So that's there. Uh, so I'm just heading down here to get the car. So yeah, it's just right on the fringe here, these nurseries. And, you, and it's purely countryside all the way up that way. So this is right on the fringe of Geisley. The first few houses of Geisley are just here. And the nurseries are there. School is down there. You can see high roads as well with the big, the big old buildings there. Well, well we, we just come a few minutes from the house, and uh, Ilkley's kind of back that way down there. We're looking uh, up the Wharf Valley this way. Just on the kind of rolling tops and everything here. It's not. We're, we're only travelled a few minutes. It's been quite bright, the wind's died down, it's been very, very windy this morning. It's Friday afternoon and it's about three o'clock. I've just finished the meeting with the Finland Academy for the last few days. This is uh, the priest's house restaurant and old chapel there. This is Barden, Barden Castle basically. So just up from Bolton Abbey, which is down in that direction. And uh, they've got like wedding things and restaurants and all that bunk barns here. This is Burnsall. You can see the, the river down there, the, the wharf and then got the old bridge. quite fast there hasn't been much rain really so it's quite surprising I mean, yeah, but maybe there was localized fast around the meander bend they built a wall there because it was just a road into the car park and that little shop thing there The 17th century oh, school was endowed so by Sir William Craven, yeah. the Dick Whittington of the Dales, who was born in Apple Tree Wick before leaving his native Dale to become Lord Mayor of London, 1610-1612, and returning to become a benefactor of the village. The church's Anglo-Viking artifacts is worthy of a visit. Yeah. Oh, why don't we go and have a look at that? So where's the church? That's Burnsell Bridge. Right we'll go and have a look up the village and have a look at see, see if the church is over. Yeah. Yeah. There's this as well, look at that. Well, we'll go and have a look, see if we can go and have, see if we can get in the church and things like that, yeah. Red Lion Hotel there, look. That's the bridge, the old bridge. Look what you can see in here. Well, look. All right, well, that's the little tables and all that, look. That. All the wood and that there, with that. So, have you seen it? That arch and everything with the wood. The tiny windows. Pretty much the end of the little village here. There's not much here. Yeah. There's a plaque on here. We'll look and see what it says. 
Burnsill Methodist Chapel. That's 1902, that one. Nursery. Right, so it continues on, does continue on under the bend. I thought we were coming to the end of it there. There's loads of the snowdrops here in this back garden area here and on the grass. Loads and loads of them. Look at the setting with the big steep hills up there. They've got rhubarb and snowdrops there. That's a school. That's a school there, look. Imagine if that was your school. Huh? Burnsall Primary School there. Eh? Look at that building for your primary school. Imagine that. The age of that. So that's the Burnsall Primary School. Founded by Sir William Craven in 1602. And then this is the church next to it, look. It might be locked, of course. Have a look. So this is the parish church of St. Wilfred Burnsell. Yeah. Have a look in here. Look at the gate, look. If you pull the chain, the gate will like swing round. Yeah. So lots of little snowdrops and things here. Yeah. Very mossy, isn't it? The tennis ball there, look. See the tennis ball? Yeah. Go on then, go and see if it's open, Alice. There's no wind now, it's, died. it's really pleasant, it's just died down there, nothing. Yew trees, yeah, they've cut them, haven't they? So loads of rabbits running around. Um, just running in there, if you can see them. So yeah, lots of rabbits, a robin. The yew tree there. setting in amongst the, the, the hills and then right up there look the hills up there we've got a village hall here 1909 it says no, well, it looks older than that in a way grassington singers so so look. There we are. the soup and pudding lunch 18th of march So we'll go back to the car now where the river is and the bridge. The, the river walk. <laughs> yeah. I had a dream I dropped mine down the drain and then yeah. I climbed into the drain through that. I think that drain probably just goes yeah, straight into the river. Stop. I'm taking Stop. the picture. Stop. 
They can see that bed and breakfast or whatever. Is that, is that the hotel? What's that? It's flowing fast, yeah. And then this is on the back here, yeah, like a sort of, yeah, the inn, the back of the inn, right on the river bank. We've just come from Burnsville, which is right down the valley bottom down there. We've come to the very top of the hill, and this is the divide now, and then we're heading, that, that basically is like Nidderdale, and there's like reservoirs and things in that direction. We're just going to have a little bit of tea here, I think a little pat lunch thing, picnic. Uh, this little spot, it's, it's really quiet, there's nothing here. We've just seen four hares, so they had long legs, they weren't rabbits, they were four hares, and they just, they were just in this field here on the corner where that fence is there, and they just ran off in that direction. Uh, so there was hares. After four o'clock, I think it's about maybe 20 past four, something like that now. Kestrel has just flown to the wall there, look, you can see it. It flew low down over the, the field and then just like stopped there on the wall. It's getting ready to be out. It's not a very big one. Sorry, I'm just trying to open my <laughs> This is uh, Grimworth Reservoir. We've just driven along a little access road which comes in here. <coughs> so it's um, quite not full at the top though, if it's reasonably full. That's like a sort of overflow uh, tunnel. So if it does get that height, that's the maximum height it will get to there for safety. No extra water will flow down in like a, basically a tube down there. So this is the dam wall here. Runs along that way. There's a few little picnic tables and things like that here and um, one of the car in the car park for the reservoir and you can go on a walk up that way which takes you Right, like the top end of the reservoir. We'll just have a quick look at this here and uh, the first open access for walking so you can go in certain areas and no problem um, just straight across the moors and all that. Um, yeah. So we're just further up the car park you get a view, better view of the reservoir up here. Look. Oh yeah. Door seven. Door 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 door. Wave. Wave. Into the camera. Why do I have to wave? <laughs> 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 so. So yeah, the Stump Cross Caverns here entrance. Be too late to go in now, imagine. But there's like a. Yeah. So we go down the caves. 